Hi guys, JJ here. So just this morning, I've received two messages from my friends. They were asking about what are the things that I would look out for when choosing a gym. To answer that question, I've actually narrowed down to five things that I would actually look out for when I'm choosing a gym. So first and foremost, I'll actually check out the cost as moving forward, this will be something that I have to contribute on a monthly basis. Do check out on the available promotions, discounts, group discounts, packages that they're offering at that point of time and avoid paying the extras. By saying that, what I mean is avoid being convinced by the salesperson into buying privileges that you won't actually need. One thing that I would normally suggest when looking at a cost is to avoid long-term contracts. I do understand that long-term contracts normally are the cheaper ones. For me personally, I would actually avoid long-term contract just in case if I were to find myself unhappy after a short period of time working out in that particular gym, I have actually got options to switch to another gym and not being tied down by the contract. Number two, hours of operations of that gym. I think that this is essentially important as I believe that everyone has got different preferred time to work out throughout the day because to me, as long as I'm able to get my gym session in on that particular day, I'm fine. So I would prefer gyms that are open for longer hours. 24 hours are the best for me so that I can jump into the gym anytime I want. Just in case if you are the kind of people that are able to fix a certain time period throughout the day on a daily basis to go to the gym, then hours of operation would, would not be a big issue for you as long as it governs the time period that you want to train. One thing that I find it frustrating is that Gyms don't open on holidays or they open at a later hours. So make sure to inquire about their holiday gym hours. Number three, the equipment. Things to consider around the topic of equipment would be things like dumbbells, weight machines, cardio machines, and stretching areas. If you are mostly training with dumbbells, you would want to ensure that they have multiple sets of equal weights available. So you can continue your workout even if somebody is ut utilizing the weight that you want to use. As for the weight machines, some key points to look out for would be first, the condition of the machines and second, the capability of the machines to allow you to put emphasis on certain portion of your lift. So for example, you would want to focus on the eccentric portion or the concentric portion of your lift and you would want to have a check and see if the machine actually allows you to put emphasis on it. For cardio machines, I personally do not really have a preference on it. However, things that you would want to look out for when considering the cardio machines would be the variety of the machines, the quantity of the machines available, and the condition of the machines. Next would be the stretching area. So stretching area is something that I find it quite important. Surprisingly, a lot of gyms doesn't really have an appropriate area for stretching, for dynamic warm-ups and even for foam rolling. So be sure to check out if they provide you with ample amount of space to carry out all these activities. Number four, members profile. I don't think it's common that people ask for members profile when you're looking for a gym, but this is something that I often will watch out for as well. The reason behind that would be for me to understand what groups of people this gym is targeting at. On a frequent note, I would like to ask them how many members do they actually have and the time profile for the majority of their members. This allowed me to understand the peak hour of the gyms and also what sort of activities does the majority of the members carry out. Last but not least, the maintenance of the gym itself. Trust me, there's nothing more frustrating than preparing yourself so well before you go into the gym and end up finding that a piece of machine is broken and it's not being fixed. This sorts of nonsense will definitely kill your mood. Hi guys, so while I'm editing the video that you guys are watching right now, I figured that I will probably share with you guys what type of gym people like me will probably want to go to. Before that, let me give you guys a brief description on my training style. Personally, I like to train heavy with higher volumes. I like to do things like supersets, giant sets, and definitely I love dumbbells. However, cardio machines are not as critical to me 
because I prefer to do body weight or weighted circuit trainings over jumping onto a cardio machine for my cardio sessions. Having that said, a gym well equipped with numerous numbers of dumbbells and numerous numbers of benches will definitely grab my attention instantly. Other than that, if the gym is offering an affordable price for membership and also operating for longer hours, that would be definitely great for me. So like I said, I don't really have concerns over the cardio equipment. So as long as the gym has got dumbbells, barbells, free benches, and probably a wide big space for me to do some foam rolling and stretches, I'm fine with it. And last but not least guys, one major point that I missed out in the previous shot would be point number six, which is the environment of the gym. And trust me guys, the environment is everything. If the moment that you step into the gym and you find yourself feeling uncomfortable, then that's it. It's all over for you for that gym. So there you go guys, five plus one things to look out for when picking a gym. Hope you guys like this video and I'll see you guys in the next video.